I'm telling you the real thing. Now he now deny me just because baby is missing. Why he deny me? If not, there is something behind here. If your hand clean as man of God, you don't need to stress me anymore. You need to call, invite me, tell the word, let's call that lady. I'm not going to hurt her. Let's, I, let's call her. And everybody around her died here. Made, made a call and they, they should search everybody. If he hand clay. But he keep quiet. Now if he can't arrest me, put me inside more pain again. Eh? Okay, where is the bikini? Basically, they even the height bikini. If bikini is with me, I think Choma here will see the baby. How to hide the a baby? I mean, I don't even know how to hide it to, to get any money. Greetings, people. It's Mr. Poo the Trigger yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. On this chapter, it, it will seem like I'm taking you people back and back, but it's very important. I know the position that most people are in at this particular stage or at this particular moment in time is to know the way forward concerning the issue of baby testimony. But everything I'll be talking about, it has everything to do with the baby testimony. Because we still have so many gullibles out there that try so hard to discredit Sister Ruth Matthew, or that try so hard to say Omoto for fame and Mercy City have nothing to do with this case of the missing child. The only way we can all sing and shout with one voice if, if we put all these facts on the table and make, make una all of you understand the implications and the dots that needs to be put in place for us to come to a conclusion. Once we get to that conclusion, it's going to be easy for us to drive a force towards Mercy City, for them to speak out about this case of baby testimony, and for them to reason with us. That's what we're asking from them. Come and reason with us. So in this case of Sister Ruth Matthew, I want to take you back just a little bit. And there's a reason why I'm taking you back on this case, on this issue. And I also want you to understand why I have this energy. Why I'm convinced that Ruth Matthew can never be lying. Why I'm certain that baby testimony got missing at Mercy City. You see this woman called Ruth. If there's a woman that I've been aggressive to in terms of questioning and cross-examining, even though I did not make any of those uh, interviews and uh, you know, cross-examining uh, uh, conversations with her online, but I have asked this woman all the hard questions. All of the hard questions. And I made it clear to her, Ruth, I want you to be honest with me. Even if you tell me the truth, I can hide it. Just tell me the honest truth. Trying to get into her brain, trying to get into her thinking so that I can also be so 100% sure that this child went missing at Mercy City. And there's a reason, you know, there's a tactic to get information. There are different approaches and strategies to extract information from someone who you perceive to be telling you the truth or to be lying to you. And I'll make this disclaimer and I'll say this. If Omoto for fame, I just want to say this so that most of you can understand. Omoto for fame has all the money that you can think of. If Omoto for fame knew that Ruth Matthew is lying, if he knew that Sister Ruth Matthew is lying about the child missing at Mercy City, there are multiple things Omoto for fame could have done to prove to the world that Ruth Matthew is lying about the child missing. The reason why Omoto, Omoto for fame and the entire Mercy City are silent about this is because they know they are implicated in this. The first priority, the first thing that they could have done was the CCTV footage, which they can't release. Instead of harassing and arresting Sister Ruth Matthew illegally, they could have submitted Sister Ruth Matthew or, or invited Sister Ruth Matthew hire a private uh, a polygrapher test, polygraphic test, which shows, a lie dictator, which shows if someone is consistent with what they're saying or if someone is honest with what they're saying. These are all things that they could have done to just show to the world that this woman is lying about the issue of the missing child. And I've tried. I have hit this woman so hard to get that truth from her. And where I sit here, where I stand, I can confirm to you that the child went missing. To those of you who are still of the, who are still of the disbelief that there's a case of a missing child, do not be swayed by the nonsense and the noise that you, you hear from bloggers 
that are unfocused, that have nothing, that come to say, we are not looking for the child. If they are not looking for the child, then they do not have to get themselves involved on this case. Well, this case is as sensitive as that. And most of you are curious right now. Okay, what's the way forward? People, please bear with me. Bear with me. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Some of the stuff that I cannot produce, I cannot bring to the public at the moment. But believe me, there's a lot. There's a lot of weightlifting happening behind the scenes. No, delay is dangerous. I know. I wouldn't just be talking about it if there was no plan. That is in action. If there was no water in the pipeline already. So please bear with me. For now, let's just address this issue that I want us to address, which concerns uh, the legitimacy of Sister Ruth Matthews' testimony of the child missing. Testimonial of the child missing. So this interview I'm going to play for you right now, it's not recent. I think we did it back in March when she was still staying with Doris Ogala, when she was still a transcorp. Because Doris had one agenda here. She wanted, first she wanted to make me believe that this child is not missing. Second, she wanted to create content, pieces of content, by cross-examining Ruth, interviewing Ruth, recording it non-stop, over and over again, over and over again, so that she can, maybe, at one point, she's still going to do that, I know for a fact. She never meant good, or never meant well for Sister Ruth Matthew. That's why she always made it clear that, I'm not looking for the child, I don't care for the child. And after that, she can say, Ruth, you are my friend, I love you. How do you love someone that you are not remotely connected to, or emotionally connected to the loss that they made. How do you claim? Where's the love in that? She was just strategically positioned to be there in that environment where Sister Ruth Matthew is so that she can make a case against Sister Ruth Matthew. And there's a reason why I tell you this. There's also the aspect of saying, ah, there, I, I hate so many bloggers. Ah, Prophet is lying that he was just playing along. People, I want you to follow this through me. Anyone can analyze whatever that they want to analyze, but I have the last say to this case, even the one that involves me and Shoma Johnson. They are receiving multiple various, various voice recordings and they are balancing their narratives with those uh, incomplete recordings. But I tell you now, wait for me. Wait for me. After this episode, this is part one of two. I'm going to play another interview that was going to clear the air for most of you. Another interview between me and uh, Ruth Matthews' brother. When she was, when he was still at Transcorp. When I tell you that this whole thing, I planned it. This whole thing, I orchestrated it. And the reason why I orchestrated this whole thing was to find out if Jeremiah Omodo really does have nothing to do with this case of baby testimony. The question is, how do you find out that Jeremiah has nothing to do with this case of baby testimony? There was only one point of contact. And that point of conduct was Doris Ogala. And Ogala, in herself, in her own belief, she thought she's being very smart and she's being very careful. Not knowing that she's playing a player. There's nothing that Ogala did or that I did with Ogala that was not planned. I'll prove it to you in the next, in part two of this episode. I'll prove it to you everything. There's nothing that she did or that she thought she did. Or there's no single recording that she have or that she have put out there. That was not planned by me before she recorded it. There's no single conversation I had with it or gala that I did not know that I'm on record. None. Every idea that I see that in Ogala's head, it was all because we wanted to establish that fact. If Omoto for Fen is really innocent, there's only one way to catch a charlatan in a lie. Give them a case. Make them a proposal. To say, okay, what can we do with this case? The moment they suggest to pay, the moment they pay out, you must be rest assured that they are as guilty as they are being accused. The moment a charlatan says, okay, let's settle this, then you must know they are guilty. The 10,000 that Ogala received from Omoto for fame to say, if we give this money, if we pay this money and the apartment, is Ruth Matthew going to come to the public and confess that she knows where the child is? That was the showstopper for me. That's what gave me more energy. Okay, if that money was meant for me to change the narrative or to stop talking, why did I not stop talking then? 
this was just that's my way that's my that's how i operate with charlatans i have a different approach altogether with all these other <laughs> these angry nigerian blogger that's my approach that's how you find the truth that's what i know how to find the truth from these people they will never pay if they are innocent you can accuse them all you want, but if they know they're innocent, they'll never pay. The moment Jeremiah said, if we pay, and they go, is Ruth going to come out and say, I know where the child is? That was a showstopper for me. Then I became more aggressive and more aggressive. And then I, my answer was, my question was answered just by that, just by that transaction. And that proposal of the house, that solidified everything that I was fighting for. That's what made me believe and know for a fact that these people know so much, know a lot. So you can equate the life of a child to 10,000, to, to an apartment. These people are very useless. So the, the, the interview that I want you to listen to is when I was cross-examining Ruth. And I want, because I had asked the hard questions to a point whereby I wanted it to lose it. To a point whereby I wanted it to be aggressive as well. To a point whereby I wanted it to break. Do you know when you ask someone serious questions and to expect them to tell you nothing but the truth? That, this, was, this was recorded not yesterday. Or it was recorded so some time ago when she was still staying with Chioma Johnson after she was arrested. Soon after she was arrested. And I just wanted to test to see if her convictions have changed. If her story has changed. But it remained constant. And she knows what she's talking about. It's a very emotional one. And I want you to pay very close attention to what she said and to what she was saying. All this is going to help us connect. Don't worry about what we are doing about the issue of baby testimony. We are getting there. Please, just wait for me. But for now, let's just draw back a little bit. Let's make you understand. Let this sit in your spirit. That Sister Ruth made you lost a child at Mercy City. And Mercy City, Omoto Fofen and his entire team, they know about what happened to baby testimony. Listen to this. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. What are you saying? Uh -huh. Family issue is not the issue in this case, sir. Daddy, the baby is still missing. Even though Nami sent the two women, eh? I think now first he called the two women to come meet me. There is informant. Who is the informant? This is the question Mr. Ordinary President is still asking in the world. Nobody give him answer. Daddy, do you get the point? Yeah, I'm getting you. Fine. I sent the two women a big e. Those women, are they not from the Mercy City? Okay. The women come from outside Abi. Info, there is information across to those two women. Somebody is inside that Mercy City that gives the information out to those two women to come inside the Mercy City to take away my baby. Who is those women? This is the question Mr. Ordinary President is still asking the world. He, no answer to that question. They are still saying she's still consistent lying. I'm not lying, sir. There is nothing I'm hiding in this case. Sir, Jeremiah is not a stranger to me. Oh. I said we are not a stranger before. Jeremiah knows me. Me, I know him. Hey, these are the things you, you are thinking I am hiding. I am not hiding anything, sir. When, okay, wait. Sir, the Jeremiah knows my children. I mean, no Jeremiah children very well. Okay. Now that the baby is missing, he not stay clear from me. Why? He never allowed me to see him again after the missing child. Why? That is the more reason I am still standing, still saying if they can even video me alive. They, they say, I am not sleeping, though. I'm not dreaming. I'm, I'm not drunk. I'm not a drunker. I'm still saying it. They, my son is with him. This is the, the more reason I am still saying this word to the world. Somebody that is that, that knows my children, even asking me, why, Mr. Ayo, leave those children for me alone to take care of? Jeremiah himself asked me that question, Bo. Okay. 
Even he now said he now go for that. Ruth, do you think this man is okay? I think Mr. Ayo need deliverance. I said, sir, you can go and co go ahead and conduct deliver for Imo, but me, I don't need Ayo as anything in my life again because of what he's doing me. No, the baby is missing. Everybody can't say you don't know me again for inside that church. Sir, they want to use family issue to take over this case, so they will say root they lie. They lie, yo, I no lie. And they tell you. I no lie. I am seriously telling you from the depth of my heart, I am not lying for any man of God to get anything from anybody. I no swear the any man of God's name. Wait, did I go to another church? Is it not inside the mercy city? Okay, fine. The people that they spent to be taking good care of us in the mercy city, are they not mercy city members or church mem uh, workers? Even though me and Mr. might be king, to who? I think now inside that church. Everybody should reason in this case, so. Think where, sir. In fact, if I insult you no know, verse, I is this I'm just expressing my feeling to you, sir. The issue is the baby is missing from Mercy City. People around me, I have measured everybody's name. Why they not deny them? Deny me, me. I know the Rimaya city. He, he get so so guess. Now so so guess he get oh. Now the, these are the issues you think I am hiding. I am not hiding anything. It is, me, I, I'm supposed to explain for you from the beginning. I thought those ones are not the issue. But at this point, I need to tell you everything. I am not lying. The Rimaya is to me then is just a friend. As in, I look at him as a friendly man of God. It's my spiritual father that makes me trust him, believe him. Anything will tell me, I will say, oh. I don't lie, you. Oh. I'm telling you the real thing. Now, you not deny me just because baby is missing. Why deny me? If not, there is something behind here. If your hand clean as man of God, you don't need to stress me anymore. You need to call, invite me, tell the word, let's call that lady. I'm not going to hurt her. Let's, I, let's call her. And everybody around her died here. May, may they call her. They, they should search everybody. If he hand clay. But he keep quiet. Now if he can't arrest me, put me inside more pain again. Eh? Okay, where is the piki? That's if they even the height piki. If piki is with me. I think... Show my ear with see the baby. How to hide the a baby? I mean, I don't even know how to hide it to, to get any money. Like I, as I'm, I'm always saying, I am not, I not suffer. Oh. I work and get my money, even though it's small. At least it reached me for that day. That's something. I'm not a beggar. I'm not going to anywhere as a beggar. Okay, look at those today. I didn't look at the children that are suffering. I struggle to take good care of the children the way I want it. I am still saying it though. Jeremiah is with my son with this reason. It's with my son. If he's on the claim, if he not go stress me more, at least he go do whatever he can do to get this boy alive, even though he died. So far, he play part. Which part he play in this case? Even when Berekete take serious action, not being single threatening Berekete to step down. Did even the Berekete said, eh, Ruth, I know you not tell me about the Indomie. That are not the issue. 
the Indomie issue is not the issue. But there is some there is informant now. Eh? So they arrange collect me PK. And the Rimaya is involved. If you can video me alive, I am not scared of anybody like us. I'm always saying it. This is time of killing, oh. I don't want to know who is responsible in this case right now because they are trying to, to implicate me more, to tell the world I am lying when I'm seriously in pain without my son. Eh? Even though other women are, are selling their own, me, Ruth, cannot sell any of my son to anybody because of money. For what? When I'm, I am a worker, and at the same time, I, 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 I am a trade business woman again. I am not so you know, I didn't like anything in my life. Why should I sell the baby? To who? In fact, to who now made an answer for me? This boy, he meets all I know for Mercy City. And Jeremiah is involved. Because nothing, he, he do nothing. Nothing. Even when my parents go to Mercy City, he drives this my, my parents to. Why are you going to drive them? Why are you going to send my post to scare them away from the church? Why? He send what? He, he, he scared them away with he, he my post, he policemen. Why are you going to drive people come up for jail now? Now I said that they say he lost. came there with me i will see they i'll see they shout up and down at least me i am even passing through serious pains stress is affecting me i was not going to rest now if i don't see this boy i will not go rest in fact i need rest they are still stressing me more and more mm. So this is all the truth I know. I don't know another thing more than that. Piki no day with me, oh. You know day, all I know. Piki no day with me. Okay, even the pastor, you mother, yeah, he was saying, and hey, my boyfriend, he give Piki. No, be inside that church, the boyfriend come. If you listen, I, 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 I get boyfriend for that church. No, be they go send somebody, come and befriend me. Reckless, I am not friending anybody in that messy city. I just take everybody as as man of God. I look at them, they, they just love me. I just look at them as a friend and nothing has added to it. If not, I for don't escape with this children. If I not say that they have another plant B to take away my soul. Then you have some boys. They are good, they are shiny. I don't I never knew that they have another plan though. If not, I for escape that time where they show me love. They are even making making me to eat free food in Mercy City. They never make me to pay money. Okay. Now picking lost, everybody deny me. Sir, even go rich Amberley's place, I go. There's no way me roots no go for this place though. Different type of families in in, in Agoko Edo in my village. I don't enter. Any place they say go, I go go. I'm looking for my son. Anything they say I make I do. Ambalis make I do, I go do. The only thing when Ambalis, another Ambali, another strong Ambalis man. They make I do. He say, Roots, I will sleep with you for seven days. After seven days, you will get your son. Now make me give up. I say, never. I will not do that. It's better me that person carry the picking. If you can grow, you go know me. You go know who, who, who be, mama. I'm not still lying, no. I'm looking for my son. Let me ask, ask her. Where he put this PK? Make it tell me. Anyhow, he take two one. He went and said, Ma, 
man of God. You're not supposed to know where the Biki enter. A real man of God, they if they be if they, if they behave like this, eh? You call yourself man of God. You are a woman being. You get children. You born. If Nigeria might have became lost, he could go rest like this. In the wife will go sit down just like that. Okay, Ruth. It is well. It is well. We'll keep on digging deeper. And we'll keep on doing everything possible to make progress. For now, stay put. Don't worry about what people are saying. It's not going to change the fact that your son is missing. And we'll keep on pursuing justice until we get to it. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a fight, but just don't lose your morale. Don't let this break you. Stay strong. Stay intact. We'll get to the bottom of this, okay? Thank you, sir. Okay. We'll talk again shortly. Okay, bye, sir. Okay, bye. As you can hear from this conversation, as you can hear from the mother of the child, this woman is in pain. This woman has lost so much, but you can't measure the depth of her pain simply because most people, they look down upon her. That's what gave uh, Mercy City people the leverage or the confidence that, ah, come on, let's just take the child. Nothing will happen. No one will care. Most people, they downgrade her because of her condition to say, ah, come on, who cares? I do. So many people do. And we'll show you that we do care about the missing child. We do care about Ruth Matthew. You touched the wrong woman. You touched the wrong baby. You touched the wrong one. On the next episode, I'm going to play for you the part which I wanted to clear the air. The air is to, was I dancing along? Was I flowing together with Chioma Johnson? And to also understand what was Chioma Johnson's role? What was Doris Ogala's role in this whole thing? What was she sent to do? Was she independent or was she, or was she working for a motor for fame? I'll let you listen to the interview. And I'll also make you understand the reason why we had to accept that money from Jeremiah. I had to accept that money from Jeremiah. The reason why I had to accept that offer of the apartment, I could not deny those offers. If I had denied them, they would have known that I'm suspecting them. But we had to carry on and carry on and allow them to expose themselves more. That's how you set a trap for a charlatan. Most of you, you can't know this because uh, you've never been involved in the game. But we know how the game operates. We know how the streets run. When I tell you that I'm the captain of this ship, believe me, don't be shaken by these microbloggers. Come on. I'm the Moses of this case. No, of, of this generation, should I say. I'm here to set captives free. And you can never do it with the approach of these uh, micro-Nigerian bloggers who do not even know what they stand for. Here we are here to, for serious business, to cause a serious impact, to part the Red Sea. I'm not a blogger, I always tell you that. Here we mean business. So don't be shocked when you see all of these young bloggers and all of these other bloggers from Nigeria. They are becoming a bit aggressive towards Prof. X. They are trying by all means. <laughs> People, <laughs> this has God in it. Mr. PDT is with God. Don't be shaken. Even some people say, ah, oh, Prophet, they are now transmitting your image. If you are standing for the truth, if you have put your faith and your trust in what I'm standing for, your faith will not be shaken. Your faith will not be moved. If you know my intentions and if you know what I stand for and if you know what I'm fighting for, don't let narratives or analysis being made move you or shake you because I am the captain of the ship. And I tell you that I know a single step that they make before they make it. So I want you to keep following and wait for the part two. It's going to clear so much. It's going to make you people understand where Mr. PDT is coming from and where Mr. PDT is going and where Mr. PDT stands. I'm not here to pull small, small, I'm here to pull bazookas, big, huge triggers to shake the kingdoms of darkness. 
So with that being said, I'll check you out on the next episode of the Enlightenment Series. It's Mr. Pull the Trigger. I'm out. <laughs>